All right, guys, I'm here at my friend's house in Rochester, and he has told me about this dish that's here in Rochester. They're very well known for it, and it's called the garbage plate. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get heartburn from it, so I've gone ahead and taken some medication for that before I started eating it, but let me show you what it looks like. All right, here we go. This is the garbage plate. We have tater tots, mac salad, two cheeseburgers, mustard on top, a meat hot sauce over all of that with onions. What do you think about that? That's a huge, huge plate. It's heavy too, guys. I don't know how I'm gonna eat all this. I probably can't, but that is a garbage plate from Rochester. All right, here we go. Burger with the meat hot sauce. Here, I'm just going here, it's a little easier. With some tater tots. We need a little tater tot with that. Mmm. 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 -hmm. <laughs> That's good. I've been told this is not called chilies. It's called meat hot sauce. Um. Mm. Yeah. It's got a little nice kick to it. What are you doing? You Roman girl? Hi, baby. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm over here at Golden Hill State Park. Um, I came back over here after I left my friend's house because I love, love, love the state park. It's so quiet and beautiful and I have an amazing spot. I'm actually, so you can see the van right here. There's a couple of RVs that are on the other side of me but it's kind of overflow parking but there's literally nothing over here in front. So there's the RV and I have all of this beautiful view over here. There should be two campsites that are right over in this direction but there's nobody over there, surprisingly, and it's the weekend. Lily, what are you doing? Come here, girl. Lily, come. Come, come, come. She got sidetracked. <laughs> There's all kinds of birds out here. Come on, girl. What you doing? Lily, come. <laughs> Slow poke, just waddling along. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that beautiful girl. I tell you what, I've been here for four days now, I think, and I've, I've just really been working and relaxing. I've got my chair out over here, back there actually, the hammock chair, and um, I haven't even gotten the bike out yet, which <clears throat> I need to, but it's supposed to rain today. But I had a lot of work and stuff to get done, so. So, it's been nice and sunny, and it's a little bit cloudy today. We're supposed to get some rain. But we're gonna make the best of it, aren't we? We have no electric here and it's supposed to be hot today. So I just keep running the engine. But actually with this tree behind me, it's very shady. So I've been spending my days out here working uh, at the picnic table and just enjoying being outside. There's been a nice breeze and it's been in the low 80s. So with the shade, it's felt really, really good. And then the sun actually sets over on the other side of the van. So it gets kind of hot in the van during the day because there's really nothing to protect it on that side. So we just stay outside all day long, which is nice. Cause we got a breeze and shade, don't we girl? <laughs> she loves it. She's been falling asleep outside. Mm-hmm. She falls asleep in the grass. Oh, see this is what stole my heart with her when she does this. She puts her little head up on my shoulder, nuzzles my neck. It's the sweetest feeling in the world. Oh, I love this girl. She's my baby, aren't ya? You're my baby. I love you, I love you. Mm-hmm, I do. All right, you ready to start the day? We gotta go get our coffee, it's brewing right now.
Golden Hill State Park didn't have any electric hookups. In fact, I couldn't find any in all of New York. We had a horrible heat wave coming through with temperatures in the high 90s with humidity, so I desperately needed hookups. So I found a private campground at a crazy high price of $65 per night, but I was willing to pay for it for a couple of days to have the air conditioning running all day. Go. It was either that or get a hotel. We're over here at Canisius Lake in New York. It's beautiful over here. A little cloudy. Staying over here at this campground. You can kind of see my van right there. It's a private campground. Quite expensive. I just went and got my mail and I got a few goodies from you guys. I just wanted to tell you too that sometimes um, my mail is really delayed because you'll send stuff to my taxes address and then I kind of wait for things to accumulate and then I have it all shipped to me at once. Maybe once a month is what I'm doing. It used to be like once every two months, but you guys are like seriously amazing sending me all kinds of stuff. So I have to send it to me sooner to see all the goodies. So anyways, I wanted to go through that really quick. We've got four items here. First off is Edge Van Works. Uh, this is Gordon from Edge Van Works. He actually even wrote <laughs> inside ball cap number one for Amber. Uh, he's absolutely amazing. This man, you guys have seen him in my other videos. This man has helped me so, so much. Uh, he came into our Heimer community just before we had our very first Heimer event. And this man knows all of our vans, the Heimer vans, in and out. He knows camper vans. He has a shop up in San Francisco area called Edge Van Works. And I appreciate you so much, Gordon, for sending me the first ball cap. You know how I like my ball caps. So um, I'll have to work this in. I have to fix the, the bill for myself. You know, I like it a very specific way, but I will be wearing this. So thank you very much, Gordon. You guys, if you need your van fixed, definitely go see Gordon at Edge Van Works. I would not promote him if I didn't absolutely love his work. He has been fantastic to our Heimer community. He was the one that, if you remember my Alaska video when my van caught on fire, if you haven't seen that, just click right up here and uh, you can watch the video. So I really appreciate him and totally went the extra mile to get my van back on the road after that fire. All right, I got this from somebody. I don't know who sent it. It says 50 Foxy and Fierce, a keepsake journal for women. So special. I love it. It's just uh, blank pages inside that has uh, an area where you can journal. But thank you so much to whoever sent that. It came from Amazon, but there was no card in it. So, or any, any indication of who it came from. So whoever you are, thank you so much. Leave me a comment in this video and tell me who you are so I can thank you properly. I then have Hokina, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, they sent me these safety flares. I have to take my glasses off to read. <laughs> Uh, it's from Ben. Thanks for all that you do, Amber. We love your channel, Ben at Hokina. Thank you so much, Ben. I appreciate that. Now, I haven't opened, this is my first time opening it, so I want to see what's inside, but it says, your use is alert other drivers to protect yourself in case of a roadside emergency. Outdoors, easily signal for help if you get lost while hiking or camping. Oh, that's cool. It has nine different lighting modes on it. Uh, there's rotate, quick flash, single blink, alternator and blinks, Morse code, SOS, sound on high, flashlight, side light. So let's see what we have here. Oh, it comes in a cute little bag. I like that. Cause you know, our footprint in the van is very minimalist. Oh, so there's three of them inside here and they're like little hockey pucks almost. Okay, I wanna read the instructions before I get these out. I'll show them in an upcoming video uh, when I use them, but it, a uh, really nice pack in here. It also has uh, emergency thermal blankets. There's two of them actually in here. And also, oh, now this is cool. Yeah, I like this. So this is cool because you can mount this somewhere. 
but this right here breaks glass so if you ever need to break glass I've seen this like if uh, vans or cars or vehicles go into the water and they need to get out quickly they use this to pop the glass and get out but lots of multiple uses thank you so much ben in fact i actually think i have an idea for how i can use this already the next one is from um judy hane or han h-a-n-n-e and she sent this beautifully wrapped package i opened it up and look what she did is that not amazing it's a wood block and she put a tree on it for me. It says uh, miles to go, places to be, things to do, people to see, amber rooted in story chasing and it has the tree. And if you're new to my channel, you should go back and look at some of my other videos where I talk about trees. And a lot of my videos, you'll see me touch trees. I'm an empath and I just connect really well with trees, nature, animals. And there's a special thing about trees for me. I'm a tree toucher, who would have known? And I have found out that so many of you are also tree touchers. It's beautiful, it's the creation of life, you know? That's how I view it. Oh, that is so beautiful. Feels like it's like kind of burned into it or something. Oh, look, I just noticed. In the roots, she has story chasing and letters all down in the root area. Oh my gosh, that's so artistic and beautiful. Wow. Judy, you're gonna make me cry. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Judy. I really appreciate that. Girl, you made me cry. It's such a special gift. You touched my heart, Judy. Thank you. Well, on that note, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. I always appreciate you coming over here to Story Chasing and watching and commenting and liking. So if you can do all those things, I would really appreciate it. It really helps my videos to be viewed in YouTube. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to Story Chasing, please consider doing that as well. I love having all of you here in the community and seeing all your comments and your support. It really, really warms my heart, guys. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.